Blue Archives for Ulsa setting summarized in less than 8 minutes for those who use the skip button or people who are as confused as I am. 이 키보토스라는 어떤 세계가 어떤 것인지에 대해서는 여기서 정답을 알려드리는 좀 힘들 것 같아요. 그것보다는 스토리 전개를 통해 가지고 추론을 좀 해보시는 게 좋을 것 같아요. Oh my god, what is this? Fuck it, Dark Souls War. Anyways, I'm going to try retelling the things from my own story playthrough with the help of the Blue Archive fan wiki. is based in a place called Kivotos, an academy city made from the union of thousands of academies that are governed by students, with the academies administered by the General Student Council. But after a certain event, the General Student Council president has suddenly mysteriously disappeared. Thus, the group's ability to govern has come to a halt. With the absence of the Student Council president, countless issues have begun to rise throughout Kivotos. The General Student Council requests assistance from the Federal Investigation Club, otherwise known as Sheo, a club created by the now disappeared student council president with a secret directive, an autonomous club that holds authority higher than each of the academies. Sheo relies on the guidance of you, yes you, a sensei who mysteriously appeared and woken up in the student council office, and the one who can help them resolve the incidents around Kivotos. Now, from the things that I've been mentioning, Kivotos doesn't look like your usual city. In Kivotos, the students commonly carry guns, just like how they carry their smartphones. Yep, guns. Small, big, and even bigger. Don't even have guns? Don't worry, they're available in your nearest convenience stores and even vending machines. I'm not even joking. Wait, hold no, on. How we have a guns in school? We, those should not be mixing. Yeah. I mean, no. no. Is it is it based in America? Have... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and of course, just like said country, gun violence is a regular occurrence. However, in Givotos, guns doesn't actually kill people, usually, and that is thanks to the student's halo. Now there are good amounts of theories on how does the student halo works or their where they came from. Yeah, these halos acts like the student's bullet fast, and it also gives some students inhuman strength. Like for example, handling a 85-pound minigun with ease, shooting a desert eagle one-handed with no recoil, and some other stuff. But with the right amount of bullets and artillery, students still receive damage and feel pain, to the point of unconsciousness. The halo is a safety mechanism for the students of Kivotos, but if it were to break due to circumstances, then yeah, dying is still a normal thing. But hey, the story is light and fun, so you don't need to worry about any of that, right? The general population of Kivotos are mostly female humanoids with various mythological and animalistic features. And also talking animals for some reason, and robots. Why does this robot need to pee, you ask? I don't know, advanced technology, I guess. Despite a city being made up of academies, teachers are actually not as common. Education is mostly by self-teaching conducted via Blu-rays and tactical books, sometimes with in-person teaching being mostly done by the school seniors. As I mentioned before, there are thousands different academies in the city, but with the most notable ones being are the eight schools. To name them, we have Trinity, Gehenna, Millennium, Yakiyako, Sanhaijing, Red Winter, Valkyrie, and Leslie Abydos. There are also two more school districts that are notable to the story, but we are going to skip those to avoid potential spoilers. A little bit of summary of the eight schools. Firstly, we have the Trinity General School, one of the largest and oldest school in Kivotos. A seemingly religious and ladylike type of school that advocates harmony. The school has a dedication on order, elegance, and etiquette. The school consists of students commonly having angel traits. And then we have the Gehenna Academy. It's also one of the largest and oldest school in Kivotos, having freedom and chaos as their main ideology. And because of the very clear contrast between Trinity, this led to both schools becoming mutual enemies. The school consists of students commonly having demon traits. The third largest school that we have is Millennium Science School, the newest of the three great academies of Kivotos, the school that values logic and technical skill over all else known for creating inventions and advanced technology for all of Kivotos. The school consists of students commonly having human-only traits. And then we have the three schools that has cultures pretty much inspired by real-life countries, like Hyakiyako Alliance Academy, a school of tourism with cultures that is inspired by the country Japan, with students commonly having oni and animal-like traits. 
Sun Hijing Secondary School that has culture similar to China, with students commonly having animal traits, and Red Winter Federal Academy, with students commonly having communist traits. Then we have the Valkyrie Police School, pretty much the police force and law enforcement for Kivotos. Well, sort of. We'll get back to that later. Last but not least, we have the Abydos High School, currently most probably the school with the most less amounts of students. Five students to be exact. This is because the school and its surrounding has been unfortunately affected from desertification, losing its former prestige and also having a huge amount of debt. This led into most students either left the school or had transferred, leaving only five students that stayed. Even though the school has the most less students, it actually has the most diverse students with different traits. They have a student with a human-only trait, two students with a wolf and a cat trait, an elf, and a very old man. In each school district, they have their own academy student council that act as a governor, or to put simply, the group that has the role of authority on the district. To name some of them, we have the Tea Party, the Student Council Fraternity, Gehenna's Pandemonium Society, and so on. And of course, with fictional governmental structures come with some fictional politics. Each school district also has their own funded police force. These groups are the ones responsible for handling troublemakers on specific school districts. To name a few, we have Trinity's Justice Task Force, Gehenna's Prefect Team, and Millennium's Cleaning and Clearing. Each of their own has a different type of ways handling said troublemakers. Like how the Justice Task Force has the aggressive approach where they breach walls and cause potential trauma on their targets, while Millennium CNC does it more covertly, but also aggressively if the situation is needed. For small school districts such as Abydos, in some circumstances, their security forces are usually their own student council. But what about the land outside of individual school district? And that's where the Valkyrie Police School come in. They are the main law enforcers for the place that are quote-unquote shared zones. And those are the 8 notable school districts in the story as for now. It is also worth mentioning to don't misunderstand the role of Sheo Sensei and a teacher in a traditional sense. You don't actually be or choose to be a teacher in one of the schools. Instead, your role is to become someone who guides the students. No matter who, where, or what their affiliation is, even if they are criminals, if they have a halo and they have a request, then it is your job to guide them. As like someone said, to be young is to be naive. And with your adult wisdom, sense of responsibility, and incredible military tactics knowledge, earn your students' trust and guide them to the right direction. While also having some wacky moments in the process.